Good morning everyone. So it has been a while since we've done a good good shop update and of course that's all we ever do and I think we're going to switch these videos up and we're going to start to show some of the work in progress which you've all asked for for years because these things can get a little boring after time can't they? Or maybe they can't, I don't know. Anyway, they were just meant to show the customers themselves how their car was coming along. They were never meant to take off and have all you guys describe. And thanks for that. Huge thumbs up. Anyway, the 56 Chevy that was a four-door converted into a two-door post. All the jams are prepped. The dash is prepped inside. The chunk area is prepped. We're just waiting on the paint. Um, should be here today. And we're going to send it down and get all the jams, firewall, all that kind of stuff sprayed, dash sprayed. And then it is going to be coming back for assembly. Then we're going to send it and get it painted, painted. All right. Now, the Camaro, the 77, as you can see, Bruce is masking off some of the areas there. He's just got a few touch-ups here and there. There was a couple little things on the jams there that we had painted ourselves here that we're going to touch up ourselves. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why would you paint the jams of this one here and not the 56? The 56 needs a lot more done. It needs the whole complete chunk area, the dash, the firewall. For that kind of stuff, we want to take it actually to a booth. When you're doing little jams like this, to us, it doesn't matter if you don't have a booth. It's not a big deal, but when you start getting into bigger areas like all the whole front of the car here, all that kind of stuff, you're going to kick up a bit more dust and I don't have a spray booth, but I do have one that's 15 minutes down the road, thank God. So the Camaro is going to be actually going off for paint, I'm hoping, this Friday. Of course, today's Wednesday, if this video is up on the proper day, because we never get the videos up in complete, you know, the same day. So that's what's going on there. Now we've got a bunch of gas pumps that I had mentioned a long time ago that came in. We've got these big tall round ones here. That's from one gentleman out in Alder Grove. Then we've got these ones here. This is another guy in, in um, Abbotsford that's got a good dozen of them or more for us to do. So this stuff is all ready and uh, it's going to be getting painted. Let's walk out the door here and see what's going on out in the carport. Uh, yes, we have a little Porsche here. Now normally we do not get involved in this, but it's just basically what the guy wants us to do. Is I don't even know if you can see it in this video, but if you look at the trunk lid, the quarter from the roof, it's a different color. He bought the car, somebody did something here and there, and it's not quite right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do a blend up on the roof and area and um, and fix it up a little better for him. So that's just a minor one, because normally we don't get involved in newer cars, such as this old Cadillac, an '80 Cadillac. This is a this is a friend of mine named Al, good guy. Um, he recommended Big Dave over to me with this Cadillac and uh, Dave wanted us to just check it out. So um, again, it's something newer I don't get too involved in, but because he's a friend of a friend, I, I took a look at it. And the only reason we don't get involved in this new stuff, guys, just so you know, is this for the fact that um, we're not the most familiar with the newer stuff. So it's not that we can't figure it out. It's just, you know, why, why would you take it to someone that might take a little longer rather than someone that can just get the job done. But for Big Dave, he's like, I'd sooner have you do it and take a little longer because I know you'll do it right so we were all good so what we did to this was we gave it a complete service a coolant flush belts hoses um, tune up you name it oil change check all the front end out check all the brakes out wheel bearings are gone did the wheel bearings um, ended up the transmission was actually toast in it so we yarded the transmission out had the transmission rebuilt put it back in yesterday so that's what's going on with that now, the little 56 uh, Fairlane here, actually, believe it or not, we're supposed to, from my engine rebuilder, has been telling me for months on end, I'm supposed to be getting my engine back this week, and uh, I better, because this car is just, uh, unfortunately, hey, we tell it here the truth, it's not the lady's fault who owns the car, but I've been waiting on an engine for like eight fucking months, and uh, eight months takes up a lot of time in my shop. Don't have time to store cars around a yard for eight months, so don't know if I'll be using that engine builder again. Anyway, and what have we got going on over here, seeing how we're outside? We got this little Mercury pickup. Yes, it's a Mercury, Canadian only. Now this guy, this is exactly how it was when he found it, and he flat cleared it. Came over and asked me how to go about flat clearing it, because everyone that seems to put clear coat over their patina vehicles, they always look shiny in the end. And I'm like, what's of that? Fucking flatten that clear down a bit. And he did. So it came in because it's actually, you can see Lisa's got some tape marks here on the door. Lisa's going to be putting some signage on the door. You know the old school signage that she does, like on my black Betty. You see my black Betty over here? How it's got the, the signage there? It's going to hand painted, brushed on, and 
Lisa's done all these beautiful signs over here and all these signs here. Well, she's going to be putting signage on the doors on this one. Now, if you remember, here's the nose. That's a huge shop update, isn't it? Here is the nose off a of Peter 66 pickup, the four-wheel drive, that we put the newer diffs in off an 83 to 88, only, or 87, only because he wanted disc brakes on the front. And to do that in a four-wheel drive, they don't make a kit, so you swap out the diffs. And I remember I go back, I did some how-to videos. Anyway, there it is there. I did the old oven treatment on the frame, and then I painted it. Now, Peter, again, like I say, he didn't want to rip this thing apart into a million pieces. Yes, the transmission and transfer case are coming out. They're going to get a, a, gone, a going through, so they'll be cleaned up and painted when they're out. But he didn't want to get carried away with taking it down, getting it blasted, and all that kind of bullshit and powder coated. He said, Rick, I'm going to drive this truck. He said, so just clean it up the best you can and just throw some, like, trim clad black on there. And that's exactly what we did. Will it last as long as powder coating? No, but he can always touch it up himself with a rattle can. Um, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, even though I know Peter's out there watching. It's not as pretty as a frame that would be powder coated, but he's going to drive it. And at the end of the day, when someone does go and see this truck, and he's got it all painted up and they look at it, they can see he's had a frame off. And there's no grease, there's no dirt, it's nice and clean, and that's what it's about. It's about driving it and getting it cleaned up. So by doing it this way, it probably sa it definitely saved him some money. To just clean it up this way but like I say in the video here it looks awesome but if you get up really really close it's it's not a hundred percent it's far from a hundred percent but it looks great it looks clean that's all that matters well let's get in the shop here and see what's going on uh, and yes it's a beautiful sunny day out today as you can tell and then they're calling for rain tomorrow of course okay let's get in here oh wait a minute you know what let's look here so don't forget all you viewers up there. We got the carried away t-shirt. We got the bit, we, which is uh, not, not carried away. Right there is uh, carried away. We got bittersweet, my own personal car. We've got black Betty. And we've got all our decals. Take a look at all them decals. And we got beer cozies. And we got fridge magnets. We got lots of stuff. And all you guys out there, we're going to be having a new t-shirt coming up soon. Okay. So here's Peter's truck. You can see we started doing the bodywork on it. We've been unispotting some of the, you get a unispotter, you can see right over here where I'm pointing, and you, it's like a machine, I'll show it to you in the future how you go about it. It welds on studs, you uh, get a slide hammer, you sli and you uh, pull them out, and then you grind off the stud, and away you go. It means less bondo, less filler, and it's a way to get the dent out, because in behind here, that's double walled, so you can't get in behind it. So, we're doing the body work on that, and then we've got, this is a guy down the road, Dave, who's been bringing me his 69 Chevy pickup and pieces to do the bodywork and uh, welding on. I've put all new rockers on it. I've put new cab corners on it. Um, and yes, somebody had mentioned, hey, I see holes in the dash. What are they for? Yes, this truck is factory AC. It has got air conditioning. So again, working on this one. This actually, once you get all the rust taken care of, it was a pretty damn good cab. It was pretty damn good. So... That is what's going on there. So let's get the hell out of here. So yes, lots on the go here at the shop. For sure, definitely lots. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, we're gonna give some. Uh, gonna give. We're gonna get some more how tos up there, like I say. And uh, hey, I want to thank all you guys for subscribing. Remember, it's always a good time and old time. Please tell all your friends. And that is all I can tell you today, guys. Okay, enjoy it because I think yesterday was the first day of spring. So no matter where you are, hopefully the weather's turning out half-ass decent for you. And if not, well, it's a good excuse to get out and out the shop and build something. See you later.